Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's review, the Grail Geo Press. So, the Grail Geo Press. Now, I'm a little bit one-sided on these, purely for the fact that I used to own one of these about a year and a half ago. Um, long story short, they're absolutely fantastic. I used to have one of these, and I used to go camping and hiking um, a lot with it. Now, what happened was, I went camping with a load of friends, it was about mid-November time, decided to call it a night, because it was quite late on anyway, filled it up with water. As I was going through my tent and putting the zip back round, forgot to bring the bottle inside with me, didn't realise, got down to minus three, we had a frost. So I get up in the morning, a bit thirsty after a, a heavy night on the uh, on the session, <laughs> as you call it, and went to have a drink and noticed, no, oh, there's no water in it. So I went back down to the local stream, filled back up with it, and disaster. It had literally split all the way down the side, gutted. Never really had the chance to get another one since. And then fortunately for me, I received an email from a company. Could you do a review on one? I says, I would love to do a review on one. Only problem is it will only be one way because I actually do like these. So I can't really give any bad thoughts on it. But I thought I'd have to do a review just purely for the fact that I do know how good these are and I would be happy to review it for them. So they've sent me a Grail Geopress now these are the bigger ones of what they do and I just want to, to state and show you that look at the quality of this packaging for this item. Even the quality of the packaging is really solid, really thick. The advertisement is fantastic. Looks nice and neat, tells you how to do it. It's got all the examples all the bits and pieces that it needs to put together, filter details, what it filters, what it removes, even instructions on different models, the capacity of it, the weight, the height, the diameter, everything's on there. If anyone's interested in any of the information, if we can get it to focus, roughly there, you might be able to see that. But. Just the feeling of the quality of this is it's fantastic. They really have done the homework on this. Now, when you do use these, I see a lot of people using these wrong, which I'll explain a bit later on. But we're gonna take the product out. Now this is the GeoPress. Now this is slightly bigger. So this is the 250 litre cartridge, eight second press, five litres per minute. And I believe it's 24 ounce or 710 mil for you UK guys. Pretty decent, nice grip to it, solid enough. And what I like about this product is as well, I've noticed that Grail don't do, have you ever noticed when you buy a flask from a cheaper shop, um, it'll either have a clicky top, a press over, a silly rubber thing that you have to pull up. They always break, they never work right, they're just rubbish. And the great thing about Grail is they've just kept it simple. There's no rubbers in there, there's no seals, there is literally nothing in it. There's just a little tiny overlap on the plastic. And inside there, don't know if you can see that, there's a slight raised plastic, which is already formed into the, into the, the top. And it's just completely waterproof. It's never leaked on me, ever. Absolutely love it. Even down to the handle. I mean, look how thick that handle is. That handle is going nowhere. Absolutely brilliant. I really do rate these. They're a good product. They come in many different colors. A lot of people say that they're quite big, so they go for the smaller version, which is the Ultra Press, I believe. Slightly smaller. I think they're 500 milliliters. It depends what you've got. I, used to, I do a lot of backpacking myself, and I like to go on a lot of walks, so I prefer something big. And for all you um, survivalists and hunters and things out there, you you know... You'll always benefit from an elasticated pocket on the side of your bag, which I do have. And I can understand from a point of view of, you know, day-to-day -day life when you're working and things, you just want something smaller to chuck in your bag for a smaller drink, which is fine. 
I've always stuck to the bigger one. I like the bigger one. It always seems to work for me. Um, a lot of the geopressors get a bad bit of stick, but they have made a smaller version, which is a great idea because they do need it. Um, there is a lot to call for it. And I also, the problem, what I mentioned earlier was, see, a lot of people, when they use these filters, they don't take the top off. You must take the top off when you go to push it down and you press it. So the idea is you pull it apart and you have basically two cylinders. You have your internal cylinder and your external cylinder. And that's obviously completely one piece. Again, quality, that's really thick. You, you can't really, you're definitely not going to break that. Really good quality made. I don't know if you can see the thickness of that, but that's really thick. Pretty good quality. Never any, any problems with this. Now on the filter side, you have this filter. Now it does state on the review and on the packaging, it does 99.99% viruses. So that's uh, rotavirus, norovirus, hepatitis A, bacteria, 99.9999%, E. coli, salmonella, and dysentery. Uh, does protozoa, 99.9%. That's Giardia, Cryptosporidium, and I can't even pronounce that one. Amabe, maybe. Filters, particulates, microplastic, sediment, silt, chemicals, PFAs, chlorine, chloroform, heavy metals, lead, arsenic, chromium. Now, from a little filter like that, I mean, that's, that, that right there is going to save your life. If you had no other choice in your backpack and you've run out of water, I mean, ideally, you want to get it from the cleanest stream you can find. Personally, I've never drank out of a puddle. I've seen people do it. There's loads of videos on YouTube where they do it and they'll just drink from the worstest possible water source they can to prove a point. That's fine. I personally don't. I'll always have a running, running water source if I can. And I'll always go as high as I can to get it as well because you never know what's up, up top of the water source. Could be a dead carcass in there. Could be mud. Could be, you know, feces. Any, anything in there. It will always travel downstream, so I must advise you always get it from a, as clear as you can water source. But as far as this goes, I have never, ever, ever, and I owned my last one about two years, never ever once did I have stomach upset, any problems, felt um, sick, diarrhea, nausea, I had nothing. These are brilliant. Um, they're just fantastic. So basically the principle is you'll fill this up from, a, from your water source, wherever it may be, a stream, pond, puddle, if you want to really want to dare do that. And you'll fill this up with water and there is a fill line on it. You perhaps might not be able to see that on the camera, but there is a slight fill line there. And then this has a rubber seal around it. And this filter, basically, you are compressing the two cylinders together. Now, the problem is, what I see a lot of people do is they'll leave the top on. And when they tighten the top down, it doesn't go down because you're forcing the water out the sides. No, don't do that. Once you've filled this with water, the water wants to come in down the chamber and up into your bottle that you're going to be drinking from, your source. So you must always have the lid open to let the excess air come out. So when you're pushing it down, it's so much easier. And it does have a seal on it. It has two. So you have a top seal, stop it leaking out, so you can literally drink it like that. Then you have another seal at the bottom. You must always open this up to filter your water because it does help so much. You hear the air coming out and then all you do is, and that's it. And then you just put your top on. Now, I like this top because it tells you it has two different holes, two markings there, look. And then all you'll do is you'll just twist it around and you'll know when it's fully locked. And there you go. And that does not leak. And I cannot recommend these enough. The quality in these, this will save your life. For emergencies, chuck them in your go bag, chuck them in the car. Just, even if you've just got one, chuck it in the loft for a rainy day. Even tap water can be contaminated in the event of a disaster or a flood. You must always remember, just because you're surrounded by water, it could still come through through your tap, even though it might be treated, there could be sediment in there, there could, there could be all sorts. Generally, it'll be cleaner, but the amount of water we've had just lately in the UK has been horrendous. Um, there's floods everywhere. There's floods when I'm going to work. There's floods to and from, you know, when I'm going in about my day-to-day -day life. 
I cannot stress enough, these are absolutely fantastic. We'll do a few tests on this. Um, these range from about 80-ish quid to 100 quid. Yes, they are expensive. Would I buy one myself again? 100%. These, they're absolutely awesome. You know, instead of looking like an idiot, you know, when you're camping and things like that, having to dip into a stream with a live straw, which I've used them before. They're great. I've still got them and I do use them. You know, and you can get bags with live straws. We'll do a review on the live straw. But these are just so much convenient. These filters all last 250 litres, no problem. I've used mine for a lot longer than that. I mean, the manufacturer's specifications will always tell you and you go to what they say. Generally, I always just wash my filters out and I've used them again and again. There's only been a couple of times ever where it's really took ages to push down and I think it's 25 seconds. If it takes longer than eight seconds, which is a standard push to 25 seconds, it's time to change the filter. So from, I mean, these are around about 80 quid. They come in different sizes, different colors. <coughs> Most geo pressers, um, I just like all the green ones to blend in a bit, like that stealth look of them, but they do different designs for when you want to go to the gym and fitness and work out. And the, fit, the filters are pretty big on them, to be fair, and it just clips off. See the three little lugs? You've just got three teeth on that, and it just clips around. And then that's just um, your one-way valve that comes in. You haven't got to touch any of this, do anything with it. You just buy them like that. These are about 30, 30-ish quid, you can get them in orange as well. The difference between the orange and black, there is none. It's just literally colors that combos comes with the boxes. It doesn't mean say this one's got carbon in and the orange is ceramic or anything like that. They're all, they're all exactly the same, but the water will just generally go through here and then come up through here. One way valve, so your sediment will not come through here. And you literally, once that's dipped into the puddle and it's filtered through that into that, this was pretty much clear. And again, never had any issues with drinking through this ever this is this is a lifesaver this is this this should be used all around the world i do rate this product very well we all, we also have some life straws and things like that coming up shortly to review again this for me is just convenience i love it i chuck it in my bag i take it to work fill it up with water water tastes like crap at work as soon as i've filtered it through this it tastes so much better i can't i can't grumble See, did you hear the pressure then? You see, I didn't do it, did I? <laughs> there you go. And then you have a waterproof, watertight container. And I think these are absolutely brilliant. My last one I had for about two years and I literally battered it. It slid down rocks. I've chucked my bag all over the place. It's been in water, it's been in mud, it's been in slush. Um, and it, it never let me down. Never had any problems whatsoever. I think for emergency purposes, these are great. You know, if, if you're, you're not into your chlorine and, you know, your bad water source, and you, even if you drink a lot of pure bottled water, I guarantee you now, you try one of these from tap water, filter it, and you try the difference, and you will be amazed how much better. I mean, from tap water, yeah. When it comes to source water, and it's more from, like, um, ponds and streams and things, you, you get a slight twang, but when I'm hydrated and I've not got any you know, bacteria living inside me and stuff and nasties that I don't want. This is the way to go. The, these are fantastic. Can't rate these enough. So we'll do a bit of testing on it. Um, there's not really much more testing I can do unless I can find a puddle. I'm sure I can find a puddle at the minute in this current weather forecast that we seem to be having. But as far as this product goes, this, this for me is, is fantastic. This definitely gets a five star off me because it's just brilliant. We'll do some testing and we'll see how we get on. But as far as quality, the GeoPress for me is, 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 is fantastic. The, the whole of the Grail ranges, eventually I'd like to do a titanium version, double the price, but it comes with a handle so you can boil your water as well and you can cook with it. I think that's a, an absolutely a brilliant idea. Um, so I will be trying that shortly. Just back onto the packaging. So we have... So this tells you how to filter. And then you have all your precautions, your contaminants and source water and your, your best water to get. Cautions with tannins, <laughs> typical, no freezing. Unfortunately, I broke mine, that's how I broke my last one. And then this just tells you how to care 
in use, long-term storage, lifespan cartridge on an airplane, obviously because it would be pressured, um, shelf life um, and unused cartridges. Great little um, Bible for you there. We also have, I've tried these before. You can get these from a lot of camping shops and things like that. They're actually good. You can get them from the army surplus as well. I don't think it was this brand, but these are the basically um, hydration drinks. You know, the sachets that you can get for your electrolytes and things like that. You put them in with your filter and it will filter through the bad water. It takes away the taste, the smell, gives you all your electrolytes. Because obviously once you've filtered it, you took majority of that out. So it gives you back all your natural salts and stuff. Keeps your body hydrated. Just a bit of information on how the one-way valve works. You can take it out to clean it, do a backwash on it, things like that. Backwashing is basically just doing it the opposite way around to how you filter it to flush the filter out. Generally, what I used to do is with these, once I'd been out on a camping for you know a couple of nights or a week away with the boys, I would basically just bring this home, chuck it in the sink, give it a good scrub out, wash out, clean it all out really well, flush a load of tap water through it to clean it. I know it's obviously got chlorine in, but chlorine is the main thing that's going to kill it all. Wash it all out, leave it to dry and dry thoroughly. Don't wash it and then put this back together and leave it and put it back in your bag because you will get mold and stuff in it because it's not dried out thoroughly. I'd always suggest make sure you dry this out thoroughly so you'd separate it apart, keep it all nice and dry and just leave it on a radiator or somewhere where it could just dry out for a couple of days. Try it again, make sure it is dry and then you can store it away perfectly ready for your next, next time camping. But apart from that, the Grail, definitely five star from me. Let's test it.